So, hello everyone. <clears throat> As you can see on the table, I have a Bose QC30. And I had, <clears throat> this is my personal headset, and I had the famous, not famous issue of, of uh, rubber peeling off. So, yeah. And for me, it was not only peeling off from the, yeah, the, the, the frame here, but also from the covers. Uh, yeah, the good news is that these parts can be ordered on the popular Chinese uh, sites, so it's it's quite still quite expensive. Uh, but but uh, I think the headband was twenty euros, and these ones maybe ten, maybe more. Uh, both both of them, but yeah. Uh, but uh, the good news is that they are available. You can order them, and then if you are willing to take this this repair uh, you could re replace them uh, what i wanted to tell uh, in this video is some of my experience as you can see i already replaced one uh, of the of the covers and the whole band um, and yeah well, my experience in in doing this repair job it's a uh, difficult one. It's not not very easy. Um, this one is still to be done, and the problem is, or let's say, not the problem. Okay, for the whole headband, uh, you just uh, take out the battery motherboard and you unclip uh, it from the this ribbon cable, and everything is more or less easy. You should, yeah. Don't forget to take out uh, the button or, or other plastics that don't come with the replacement one. And yeah, in this one, uh, you will need to uh, remove the plastic pins. Or I, what I did, I did is just squeezed it with the pliers and uh, left the original ones intact. And then afterwards, I uh, heated my soldering iron to 100 degrees or maybe a little bit less. And then I was able to push in the plastic uh, to hold the PCB in place. Uh, this is yeah, some, uh, it has some work to do, but it's not the very difficult. The mo maybe the most difficult part is to connecting back the ribbon cable as you have to clamp it in uh, to have it in place and and still um, Still, still, still be able to hold the board and push it in. So this is the most difficult part. But in, in replacing the headband itself, if you have these parts uh, in good working condition, then consider yourself lucky, because for these parts you need to desolder all of these 15 cables. Then you need to remove this black glue gum stuff um, afterwards you need to unclamp this uh, brass iron uh, ring it's it has a, a cut in, in one place so you have to have some small tools to spread it out and take it out then there is still a one knot of, of this, uh, yeah, how do you call it, this this, this thing, this uh, sewing something. <laughs> okay, so this needs to be, uh, you could just cut it off or something, I'm not sure if I will uh, be able to redo it into the knot it was uh, uh, made, but uh, yeah, still, this is all done as additional support that you would not rip out the cable uh, from this housing so the ring itself holds quite good but yeah, i think this one is for additional security um yeah and why, why i'm doing this video um don't forget to make pictures of uh, repair you're doing and, and uh, the cables because i was doing the pictures uh, but somehow uh, after uh, redoing everything and wanting to solder everything back in place, I found that one of the pictures that was of the middle row was missing. 
Okay, so, so yes, don't forget to do pictures and don't forget to check if the pictures are okay and, and do you have good resolution, nothing is blurry and everything. Just check before unsoldering the next uh, thing that you will want to look at. But yeah, I, from few pictures that uh, was left, I was I managed to reassemble the sequence and so that's why I will film everything under the microscope and try to show you uh, all of the pins if you were unlucky like me and the picture got deleted or you forgot to take it. Uh, one additional thing is that at this site is already uh, redone, uh, done, but and here you can see that all of these pins are covered in quite hard to remove glue. So it's not a simple stuff that you just pick a little bit and it, it drops off. Uh, this glue is quite hard and difficult to remove. So I found to be best to get one or two of that kind of sharp tools and squeeze from two sides and try to remove it. Because yeah, you will not be able to solder it uh, through it. Or maybe it will uh, give up on, on the hot soldering iron, but then you will contaminate the PCB and it will be even worse. Yeah, so I think this is all uh, that I wanted to show on this level. And I will switch to my microscope and voice it over what I'm showing you in this part. Okay, so this is a close-up uh, pan through the right side and we are coming to the interesting part of the cables and here are the two original pictures that I was left with as you can see I have first row of the cables and on the second row some of the cables can be distinguished but not really a lot yeah, so that's why I came, had to came up with uh, three three points were uh, not clear at all, but I tried uh, to connect some and this is what I came up with. Uh, here I will try to show you okay, the metal ring that you have to put, take out uh, to, to, to uh, exchange the cover. And here are all the cables, that uh, that's how I connected them and it seems to work fine. Noise cancellation, volume, everything functions. So if I will find something that is not functioning, then I will upload some some comments in the comment section. But for now, headset functions okay. And yeah, just take a look. Where are what kind of colors and. Hopefully both didn't change the color scheme in, in, in some of the production units. Okay, then we will come to the left side. In principle not much is here. Batteries. Maybe someone will need the, the description or, or the type of the battery and then we come to the cables itself uh, here is the white glue that you can see as I said it's really difficult to remove but yeah, I try to peel it off with, with some sharp tools not to damage the cable or, or yeah, rip off the ribbon cable I think I ended up uh, ripping off the black cable, but yeah, they are easy to, to solder on uh, if it's not far away to rip, ripped far away. Yeah, that's it for the, for the close-up. Thanks for watching, subscribe if you like it, and I hope to see, hear, see you soon.